to pay us. Proceed. Mr. Speaker, Senator Sifuna is trying to teach me English and he does not know that I scored very highly. Bipartisan, Mr. Speaker, bipartisan, Mr. Speaker, I am here representing women and I am trying to tell my fellow colleagues that this report does not reflect on the inclusion of women in each and every conversation. So if he's talking about political bipartisan... Senator Sifuna, uh, you're things, out of order, please. Mr. Speaker, protect me and my time. If he wants to talk about political bipartisan things, we are standing here representing women. How can I endorse a report, Mr. Speaker, that clearly outlines whether by, by both ODM or Kenya Kwanzaa? We are debating on the report, Mr. Speaker. I am giving my views on the report and whether I would like to support it or not. And I am saying that I do not support this report because I cannot ignore the fact that on all the matters that women of Kenya, the same women who went out to the streets, those Kenyan women went out and said they want to be represented. Mr. Speaker, we are being told in this report that, okay, go and sit for an extra six months and then you will come back and maybe at that point we will include the legislative proposals, which by the way, Mr. Speaker, because I have read that report, they already have the answers on how to implement the two-third gender rule. As a matter of fact, in this report, they have pointed out that there is option A, where we can do ABCD, and there is option B, where we can do ABCD. However, we are sending you women to go and sit for another six months so that you can discuss and then come with a separate report to bring to Parliament. Why, Mr. Speaker? When we have an opportunity, women have been put on, on, the, on the table on this National Dialogue Committee. Why would you remove us and our issues and tell us go back and come back with a separate report? Because that is what the recommendations of the NADCO report are stating, Mr. Speaker. So therefore, I would love to support all the things that have been put in there. However, Mr. Speaker, I recognize the fact that I am in this Senate and in this parliament because I have been nominated to represent women. And this report does not reflect on the same, Mr. Speaker. So I would like to say that, unless you're trying to tell us, Senator Sifuna, that women are not part of the cost of living, unless you're trying to tell us, fellow colleagues, that women are not uh, uh, um, affected by all these other issues, including the political party issues, the IBC issues. I cannot support or endorse a report that actually sets us aside and tells us, go and drink tea, then come back with your own report on how we are going to implement the two-third gender rule. Mr. Speaker, I would like to say that this report, Mr. Speaker, for it to make sense to us women, and bipartisan women, both from the Kenya Kwanzaa and ODM, this report must state that these two options are the options that should be considered and should be put in the legislative agenda so that we can move forward. But do not send us out there to drink tea and tell us to come with a separate report. No, I do not, and I will never, until you allow us to sit on the table, we will bring our table or we will say no to whatever it is that you want us to implement, Mr. Speaker. So therefore, uh, I don't support. Senator Mazayo. Uh, sorry, Senator Enoch. <laughs> Remove your name from uh, the dashboard, Senator Mazayo. You've already had a chance to speak. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> uh, Mr. Speaker, <laughs> Senator Sifuna is uh, whispering things. And me, I will try to do what you're telling me to do. Uh, speaker, um, from the onset, uh, 